Hey what's up pop stars, I'm Cake Pop Clara and today I'm going to be giving you some ideas of how to wear Lolita fashion while staying at home. This can be helpful at any time if you just don't want to go out. I know a lot of people who want to wear Lolita that don't feel comfortable wearing it in public for meetups. These are some fun ideas of things you can do at home and still live your complete Lolita lifestyle. Just remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to gain the confidence to wear the fashion that you love. Today I am actually going to go through eight different things you can do at home wearing Lolita fashion or participating in the culture and community online. That's pretty much where it's at now. We are doing our socializing online. Some of us are used to that. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Personally, I love going to meetups. It is unfortunate that a lot of the in-person ones were canceled. However, I have good news. There are actually online meetups you can participate in right now. There is a ton planned for the next week in my local area, so definitely look through Facebook, look in your local comp. The thing is, people are still doing meetups and you don't even have to leave your house. Through Zoom, a lot of you have heard of that. I attended one that was an Animal Crossing slash Lolita meetup. It was super fun and cute and I actually wrote a blog about it so I can put that in the description. There is totally still meetups. There's Jackbox meetups. You can even go on just your audio if you don't feel like dressing up or if you don't have access to your wardrobe and kind of get ideas for coordinates. It's pretty casual. You don't have to go OTT for it. It's pretty fun. So if you're just starting out, it can be a good way to just completely stay judge free in the community. Not to worry, Lolita isn't dead, my friend. Another really cool thing I've seen people doing is remote twinning, which I have always wanted to twin with somebody in real life, but you know, it takes a lot to plan out and you have to actually go out and do the thing and you don't know who has the same dresses as you. It could be like a whole problem. Sometimes you accidentally do it. You could wear the same print as someone at a meetup and that's kind of awkward because you didn't even plan it out. But with remote twinning, you can type in either a Discord or a Facebook thread who your dresses that you have that you own and other people can be like, oh, I have that dress. If you want a remote twin with me, I can, you know, I should actually, this leads me into my next point, catalog your freaking wardrobe because some people spend their time doing this. A lot of my friends do it on Facebook or on their own personal blogs. They will have pictures of each of the different dresses they own and they'll have their wish lists on there too. So if somebody's selling, they'll be able to you know, just zippity zap it over to them. I think that's a really fun way to participate in Lolita fashion without even actually having to wear it. And something I should probably do if I wanted remote twin with any of you. I have some people I've met through YouTube on Instagram who I think I've seen have the same dress. You know, some body line ones are really common. I saw a really cute remote twinning with like nine people and it, they all did a heart shape. That was really, really cute. I was so happy about that. Anyways, wardrobe cataloging. I have actually a video where I did go through my dresses now that I think about it. It was like two years ago, so I have gotten some new ones since then. So I'll do an update soon. It's nice to have it in vlog format too. Another way to share your coordinates without wearing them, just or like share your dresses, share your stuff, your cool stuff without wearing it, is to do floor lays. I've seen a lot of floor lays recently of people who don't want to dress up because they don't have anywhere to go, but they still want to be creative and make different outfits. It's really a skill, one that I don't have. I have tried to do a couple of floor lays in my lifetime. It can be really fun to try it out, so I would definitely, definitely recommend that. Even if you don't have a full complete wardrobe yet, you can like copy and paste it together on your computer in different photo editing programs. I see this a lot on discords where they will have events. It'll be like make a coordinate through different images you can find online. The library has all the different dresses and accessories and stuff cataloged so you can use that and go through it and see what you'd like your dream wardrobe to be and make different coordinates of like what you could wear and you could even photoshop it onto your little face and pretend like it was really you. I wouldn't recommend that last part just because that would take a lot of technical skill, 
but it's pretty basic to just put the different pieces together so I would recommend doing that. It can be a fun way to participate in Lolita fashion at home. Another thing you could do at home shopping don't go over the top but all the money that you're saving not going to conventions you can just put towards shopping i seriously have it planned out to have like two hundred dollars put away towards asin which is not happening what's that mean i have money in my budget that i'm not spending <laughs> just kidding i'll save it no i'm just kidding about the air quotes speaking of shopping i have to do a little unboxing for you because i've been totally saving this. I'm super excited about what's in it and I'm actually gonna add it to my coordinate right now. This is the first thing that I got from them. It's in a Ziploc baggie so you know it's legit. These are Atelier Piro. You can see like there's such good detail around like the butt part. Like why can't I wear these just like nakedly? Like this is always gonna be covered but this is like the coolest part of the freaking tights like what the heck guys i'm excited to try them on because i'm wearing two different socks right now because i was like i'll just try to use these in the coordinate you know what i mean here's the other part an angelic pretty hoodie it's like a melty chocolate hoodie it's so cute it's a ivory colorway i don't know it's a cream color it's so cute oh my god there's a stain on the front of it you know what I do when I get stains on my stuff? I usually put like a pin over it. I guess I could put another patch over it because there's one here. It's so cute. I will show you up close because honestly it's so adorable. This will look so cute with this alipet. I swear but it just doesn't look really good with the yellow. <laughs> This thing's really not noticeable because this is scrunched up. Hallelujah, guys. Don't you love that when things work out? Anyways, those look really cute. My next idea for you, my next thing I'm gonna say, is that you could try to practice your art with some Lolita drawings. Hear me out. Lolita dresses have so many fun patterns, elegant hairstyles, and flourishes. It's fun to draw with the pastel colors and the other stuff that happens. I've seen so many amazing artists come out of quarantine. All the beautiful souls are coming out and being creative together a bit, but I think it's a good idea for you to participate in a fashion at home, maybe without having to dress up. And people really appreciate it if you draw their cords. My other idea was you could participate in EGL April. I think when I post this, April will have gone and passed, but there's other 30 day Lolita challenges where it'll give you like a different subject each day to base your coordinate off of. It kind of gives you an idea of what to do that day. It's kind of fun to participate in and you'll have a lot of coordinates to share with everyone. I love everyone's coordinates who I've seen doing EGL Stave Rule. Maybe they'll make a different one for May, like EGL Mayhem. In the comments, please give me an idea for what should be the name of the 30 day May Lolita coordinate challenge. Finally, we made it to the last item up for discussion. You can just video chat tea time with your friend one on one. Be like, hey sister, I'm really bored today. I want to dress up in Lolita fashion. I don't want to do it alone. You guys can drink some tea together and it will be really cute. That was pretty much everything for now. I know there's probably a lot more you could do at home. In the comments, you could also put your ideas for wearing Lolita fashion at home. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will have another one out for you really soon. I super appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye pop stars.